Let's talk about the Trojan horses. Now, of course, the Trojan horse is named after the famous Trojan horse that the Greeks used to enter Troy. And if you've ever seen the movie Mr. Peabody and Sherman, I've got a 10 and an 8-year-old, remember, and they walk around the house going, smell my victory. Um, if you've never seen the movie, that made absolutely no sense to you. If you've seen the movie, then you're probably still laughing right now because of that reference. Anyhow, back to how it, what it means with computers. The Trojan horse is called that because it hides within a program. And in fact, Trojan horses are downloaded by you, the user. So let's say that you're online and you see this really great application for, let's say, weather. And this weather application will tell you the current weather. It will give you weather alerts on your desktop. And so you download this weather program. And in many cases, the program will do what you downloaded it for. But what you don't know is that the program has a deep, dark, sinister secret. And hiding on your computer is the payload. Hiding on your computer is the nastiness that is the Trojan horse. In fact, most of the computers that are being used, for example, as zombie computers might have been infected via a Trojan horse. So you got to watch out for the Trojan horses. In other words, make sure you know what you're downloading and only download from reputable sites and sources. All right, in the next video, we're going to take a look at the worm.